Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to optimize your BIOS for the Ryzen Series 7000 and all those new 3D version of the processor. Uh, me, I'm running the 7800X 3D, so I'm going to show you like very the best setting that you can use to optimize your uh, CPU, optimize your RAM, do some uh, overclocking a little bit, but nothing too crazy, and uh, it will work. So first of all, Really make sure that you have the latest version of your BIOS. In my case, I'm using the Steel uh, Legion from ASRock. It's the 1.18. Also, I recommend make sure that you're using the latest firmware from AMD for your chipset. Uh, right now, it's 1.0.0.5C. Uh, so this, you just need to go on the AMD website, go for the AM5, download the latest Ageza version, and you will be up to date. So first of all, we're gonna start with the RAM. It's really important. The RAM uh, really help with Ryzen processor. Uh, right now, like I said, I'm using a mobile from uh, ASRock, but you should find all those options on ASUS, Gigabyte. Sometimes the name will be a little bit different and also the way they're showing it. So anyway, it you should find it easily, honestly. So the first one will be your DRAM profile. So click on it and click on your profile. So what I recommend is make sure that you're using the XM XMP profile or the Expo profile that uh, your uh, RAM can run. So for an example, when I bought my RAM, it's a 6,000 megahertz RAM. By default, it runs at 4,800 when you boot your BIOS. So super important, you will need to change that to make sure that you have the proper run. So in my case, it's the 6,000 over there. So I'm choosing it. So now I have better timing, I have better megahertz, and it's gonna apply a little bit more voltage on my RAM. Second thing that you will need to change is your DRAM performance mode. You have a couple of choice over there. By default, it will be IMD uh, ages a default. I did a couple of tests and I'm getting a little bit more performance when I'm playing competitive and even aggressive, but competitive for me seems the best one. So it's gonna tighten a little bit more my uh, timing on my RAM. So I definitely recommend to use those. So let's go with this one. Do some testing, uh, run some benchmark uh, if you want to make sure that it's stable. But I didn't add any issue with crashing with those one. But the thing is, I'm getting a little bit more um, um, performance with competitive. When you did that, now we're gonna go to the overclocking part, AMD overclocking, and it's not an overclocking like you you do with like Intel processor. It's really different. You just want to tweak the algorithm for your PBO to make sure that you're getting the best performance. So we're gonna go to PBO, and before I want to mention, I know a lot of people is asking question about Infinity Fabric because uh, for the uh, 5000 series, 3000 series, you needed to change your Infinity fabric one for one. So for an example, if you have like a tree, uh, your, your RAM was like uh, 3000, you divide by two, so Infinity fabric should be at uh, 1500. In that case, I recommend to go with auto, it's 2000 megahertz. It doesn't match your 6000 if you're using that with your DDR5, but it's pretty much like that. You can overclock it uh, slightly at 2100, 2200. I see a couple of people who can do that, but honestly, not a huge gain in your performance and you will have a lot of issue with stability, so I don't recommend to change that. Just stay at auto. So now let's go to PBO, Precision Boost Overdrive. So over there, you want to use the advanced one. So you want to have like more option and to tweak the algorithm. After that, the PBO limits. I really recommend to use the motherboard. So you want PBO use uh, the um, your mo uh, motherboard spec. Sorry, you don't want to use the default by AMD. So if you have a better VRM, better stuff on your uh, motherboard, it will help to have a little bit better performance with your PBO. After that, what I recommend also is your curve optimizer. This is pretty much where you will have all your gain. So I'm gonna explain a little bit what is the uh, curve optimizer. So the goal here is undervolt your CPU to have better thermals and after that to have better uh, boost clock. And uh, it's working very great with Ryzen processor. So if you're coming from Intel, this, this seems maybe a little bit weird, but it's really good for the algorithm of the PBO. Your boost clock will be a lot better with that. So what I recommend, use the all core. So you want to apply it on all your core. Really important to use negative. You don't want to put positive. You don't want to add voltage on your CPU. And after that, I recommend to just test by 
at 10. So start at all core negative 10, do some testing, run some benchmark. Normally you should be fine on a slat 10. After that, test 20, same thing. Also really important, look at your number. It's not because it's not crashing that it's better for your number. So run some 3D marks, run some game, look at your number. Are they better or not? If they are better, go with 30 and just do it like that. So at the end of the, this process, just make sure that you tweak it. Uh, maybe you can go at 40. I know some people can do even more than 40. I think on my mobile, it's locked at 40. But I know with Asus uh, motherboard, you can do 50, 60. So definitely use that. Uh, in my case, it really helped with thermals. I was gaining like 5 to 8 degrees. And after that, my PBO now is boosting the clock at 5.2. Before, I was doing like 5 GHz, uh, 550. Uh, but now I can do 5.2 easily on all my cores. So super important. This is the key to optimize your AMD uh, Ryzen processor and even for the 3D uh, version of it. So this is pretty much it. After that, honestly, you just like look at your thermal, uh, download a good software maybe to manage your fan. I'm not a huge fan of the... Uh, fan profile in the ASRock BIOS so I'm just using a software for that and uh, make sure that you have if you're playing you have an IIO on your uh, CPU so water cooling make sure that your pump is at 100 and after that make sure that you have a really good curved fan depending on the thermal on your CPU and you will have great result with this processor. So this is pretty much it guys if you have any question about what are the best uh, settings for your BIOS for your Ryzen processor just come in in the YouTube section. Super important to tell me the model of your motherboard, the model of your CPU. Do you have a 3D CPU from Ryzen? And I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.